Okay, so I typically don't do this, but <clears throat> what's up guys? Doing a YouTube video on the Black & Decker Lithium Vacuum. Uh, kind of a decent machine for the first few months, um, but uh, had some problems with the roller, and I'll show you what I did here. Uh, the roller itself, uh, I've had to clean this multiple times. You can see, I mean, I just took that thing off one-handed. This is an easy thing to get off and clean. Uh, you know, but uh, unfortunately, the two two major issues are this end here and and the other end here. Um, and the, whole, the whole thing pops out of this little plastic case too. Uh, but those ends get filled up with hair. I don't know if you can see that, but the the actual metal bar that's in there and the bearing, everything gets filled up with hair. Filled up with hair. And it makes it very difficult for this thing to run. So over time, um, this thing has just, it's been about a year and a half since I bought it. Uh, I've had to clean that thing lots of times. Now it all of a sudden just stopped working altogether, even after I've lubricated each end and uh, nothing's working. Well, as I took it apart, you can see the screws here. I'll show you where I took apart the screws, but I noticed a bulge here. There's a huge bulge in the side of my, my vacuum that wasn't there when I bought it. Not that I took pictures of that, but here's what I'll show you. So I flipped it over. You take out screws here, 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 here. So all said six screws. And then I could, you can only prop it open that much. So you can see inside there. And I can see, this is where the, there's a little motor. Oh wow, everything's getting really dark. Um, but there's a little motor over here that spins the the device that, that spins the roller. You can see that down on there. So this is what stopped working, is that spinner right there. And that spinner stopped working because something burnt out the motor, made it melt this part of my machine, which is causing the problem. There you go. Year and a half worth of vacuum. Spent two, $217 on it and it was not worth that price. Uh, it's 125 now, which might be worth it if you only want to get a year and a half uh, out of your vacuum. All right, bye.